What's going on, everybody? I am Adminer, your host, and welcome back to Crypto Night. Tonight, we'll be talking about patience. First off, we got Bitcoin on the charts. As you can tell, just like I predicted, if it was going to happen, passing the previous all-time high, it was going to happen at the blink of an eye. And many people didn't even know that Bitcoin, Bitcoin had hit $70,000. Why? Because it flash crashed right after that. Then we ran up, bumped into the previous all-time high and got rejected. Because of this, now the altcoin market is ready to rumble. I thought yesterday was going to be our day, but it looks like today will be our day. It is 8.02 and normally we get a nice pop at 8 o'clock. So we are anxiously waiting for that. It looks like some of the crypto is already going. So let's get started. Uh, uh, Bitcoin is sitting at uh, $68,187. Uh, it is 3824 at 8.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, little rejection there right after it hidden the previous all-time high, which is... I don't know. So let's go all the way to the top Tezos. Tesla's got rejected right with Bitcoin. Pow, here it comes right back down. Again, it happens so fast that you don't even get a chance to sell. Most people don't get a chance to sell. So it comes back down. Here we are waiting, waiting for the blast off right now. This is XLM. XLM looks like this is on fire. It's time for these guys to go. But patience is a virtue. Now look at here, look at here. XRP looking lively. Um, haven't seen it go up for some time and as you can tell uh, xrp's uh, chart looks nothing like bitcoin's chart so what's going on who knows next we got tron tron is also waking up well good morning tron well good night i guess bam next we have shiba inu shiba inu was taking off got rejected came back down didn't even get close to any all-time high so I mean, I see it this time, this this period's high. So uh, I guess it still got a little bit more to go. What are they waiting on? Who knows? Let's go. Neo, Neo, it's going red. But looks like it's gonna turn green here in a minute. We gotta be patient. <laughs> it just became eight o'clock, so they're gonna start firing it up. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, Luna Classic, which I thought should this should be right along with the. Uh, Shiba Inu and down here with Amp and Casper and them. They should all be about the same percentage. But I don't know what's going on with Luna. It doesn't want to wake up again. Let's try it. Had a little flash crash right along with Bitcoin. All right, fantastic. Let's keep on going. Gala Games. Gala Games on fire. Gala Games is on fire. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Gala Games. We just passed Gala Games. Gala Games is not on fire. Gala Games is sitting at four cents and is struggling to wake up. Somebody kick Gala Games in the behind. Wake up, Gala. Let's go. And look at here, look at here. The problem child, the redhead stepchild, Flair, is waking up. Now, I know I keep saying it on every one of these videos that I've been posting on this podcast that I think Flair is going to be massive. It's going to be a talk of the town, I believe, because it has so much to gain. And why is it still here at this point? I have no idea. It should be way higher at this point. But patience is virtue. So let's continue. Uh, w welcome back to the game, Flair Token. Dash. Dash has been just absolutely beat up it, can't, it just can't get past that it's tried a couple of times already as you can tell it's, it's just it just can't bitcoin's been past it and nobody else seems to be able to get past it i don't i don't get it but i guess that's the point of the all season well guess who did pass it casper casper did pass it just a notch got rejected a little bit higher there came back down it's quite normal 
but they should be waking up here soon. Bitcoin still in the red. Looks like it's going to continue down. I'm not sure. It should be waking up. Amp. Amp looked like it shot up some. It shot up some. Got rejected. Now we're down here at uh, 0.005103. And that's it for the list today. I am quite excited because uh, this is the moment where they go. At least they're showing. This is where they show us the signs of possible movement eight o'clock is when the show begins then we go to 10 o'clock then 12 then three o'clock in the morning nobody is going to sleep tonight nobody in crypto will very likely be able to sleep tonight tonight tomorrow night is going to be quite exciting already shine the signs are there shiba inu 3.18% in the green, looking like it's ready to go. As you can tell, it's about to pass this little resistance point right here, which has been battling for quite some time. Right, got rejected a couple times there. So all you have to do is get past this guy, past this guy, and then who knows? We're looking for a Point zero 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 three nine five zero location. Once it breaks that point, I believe it's done. There's no holding them back from that point. I would think. All those percentages are dropping, meaning that the OGs are ready to go here soon. All these altcoins are starting to turn red. So OGs would very likely get their turn now. That is Dash. Dash is turning green, which makes perfect sense. That's an OG coin, uh, which means probably Bitcoin will turn green here in a few. So that would be Dash, Tezos. Tezos is an OG, so it should be turning green here in a few. And that gives um, XLM, XRP, the green light to go. Is their turn next to print a little some some green candle giving us a little sign of strength xrp quite excited because ah we've been waiting for so long so long for xrp to go if there is a coin that will teach you patience that would be xrp xrp has been quite the battle to hold uh, only because in previous bull markets I wasn't wise enough to to sell I was wise enough to buy <laughs> there's nothing worse than not having what you need when you need it also there's nothing worse than not using it when you need it so uh, I'm hoping this bull market, I get a, a bigger, a better uh, opportunity to see and understand the charge sufficiently to get me some good sell points and uh, make a profit this time. Although last time I did took off, don't get me wrong, I had some fun. It wasn't no, <laughs> it wasn't no doom and gloom. It was most definitely a brush of fresh air to get all that money come in. Uh, but I wasn't wise enough to pull and sell uh, when it was needed because I didn't understand the market uh, the way I do now. And it's a process. You got to have patience. Patience is key in this market. Without patience, have mercy. You will suffer for sure because XRP has been in this range for years. I don't know, seven? If that's not patience, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you have to have patience. But if it does, when it does, take off. XRP will more than likely be another Ethereum, Bitcoin, or better. When it comes to the mass, uh, I do, I did love the the initial illusion of privacy and control they were pitching when crypto first came out. 
But now it's that's all over, guys. I mean, there's possibly a couple coins like Monero, Bitcoin. And even Bitcoin is already it's, it's controlled to a degree that it's no longer something that you're like, oh, the privacy and what. No, that's, that's over, y'all. That is over. Uh, they are definitely keeping an eye on this market. They see what's happening just like we do. Uh, look at Dash. Dash is still feeling, feeling witty. He wants to play. Let's see if he can break through finally. Um, oh, all I want to see is one breakthrough. I am, I am at the end of my patience. <laughs> it's important to maintain a steady, a level head. Because uh, during these times, you see all these other coins just blasting off. And when your coin doesn't blast off, it's, it's quite painful. And then what happens is FOMO, right? And you start seeing all these other coins take off. And what happens is you start pulling from the coins that you should live in. Yes, it's painful. It's always painful at the bottom, right? But if you're patient enough, you get your reward. A lot of people I know that got wrecked, got wrecked because of that fact, because the rest of the market started going and their chosen coin had not gone so in their mind okay i'm going to take out some of the funds from my coin and move them over to these coins that are blasting off so i can make some money and then put it back in my coin what ends up happening is that they move those coins over to that other coin and if it's been blasting off for way too long way too hard they lose their behinds or these flash crashes Right, so they'll get their coin. They see this pumping, they see a flag forming, and it's ready to blow. They throw their money in there, it blows, and then it flash crashes on them, and they're trapped. Now they gotta wait. And then when they see it come back up, now they believe this is going higher. And they hold, and bam, they lose it all. That happens frequently during these times. So don't get caught up on that uh, FOMO. Uh, fear of missing out yeah, it's big it's big I caught up I got caught up on it plenty of times and I regret every single move I made in a FOMO like scenario uh, why because of the lack of patience and understanding of the market I lost many opportunities to make money I missed opportunities to make money watch so if I would have been patient I would have made way more money than I did so if I can leave you with anything, is that patience is a virtue. And without patience, the crypto market will very likely hurt you. This is El Miner. Till next time.